All right. So again, thank you for joining us today. As I said, my name is Elliot Chen, and I'm going to be going over um, and sharing with you how our rapid release dashboard application can help your DevOps process for your project. So real quick, what we're going to be going over today is what it is, what is the rapid release dashboard, um, what features and workflows it adds to Pega, Pega Agile Studio um, to help your uh, project, how it improves uh, the user experience, what value it adds to your business, our current future roadmaps for it, a uh, quick video demo of it. And we're also gonna be going over a new uh, deployment request case type that comes with it. And then we'll be doing a Q and A session. Um, so we'll be answering all questions at the end of this presentation. So if you have a question during it, uh, feel free to type in the Q and A chat um, and I will answer it at the very end. So before I get into what the rapid release dashboard is, um, I just want you to stop and think for a moment on how you currently track all your releases now uh, for your project. Um, you might be using Azure DevOps um, or another DevOps management uh, tool. Um, and you may have more than one report that you have to use to get the status of the project. Or you might not have a project yet um, and you don't have that structure quite yet for it. All right. So the basic idea of what the Raptor release dashboard is, is that it's a simple add-on to Pega Agile Studio that provides a single source of truth for users to see the status of their releases. So we fully customized the dashboard to show the user what they need to be able to see uh, their <clears throat> for their product and the current release that they're working on and give them an up-to-date status on it in one place. All right. So our use case for this was um, <clears throat> imagine you are on a large project with, let's say, 11 uh, delivery teams. And with your existing structure, uh, you're finding it difficult to track what is being completed each sprint and when it's being committed by your delivery teams. Um, with the more frequent uh, deployments to QA, your project manager finding it difficult to track what has been deployed or what has been validated. You know, um, these obstacles, these obstacles are making it difficult um, for your uh, for your project management team to make recommendations to your stakeholders if an early release is applicable for the sprint. Um, that can either go to stage for business validation and then to production, or let's say if you're in the middle of a sprint and you need uh, an emergency release to prod, uh, maybe you want to just go ahead and do an early release and add new features that are ready. All right. So our goal for the rapid release dashboard and how it helps you is that we want it to be able to provide you um, determine production readiness, um, track uh, what completed features uh, are done based on committed code, um, you know, and provide a detailed report to help inform management what has been completed mid sprint. Sorry about that. <clears throat> completed mid sprint. Um, and really allow the user to make an informed decision on if an early release is applicable, you know, and making it easy for the user to use by putting it all in one place instead of having to go around and use multiple reports. All right. So currently, um, our rapid release dashboard is integrated with Pega, is integrated with Pega Agile Studio. Um, and we have future goals to integrate it with third-party DevOps management systems like Jira, GitHub, and Azure DevOps, ADL. All right. All right. So <clears throat> what we've currently implemented, what we've currently added to our dashboard here um, is provide <clears throat> the minimal amount of information that you need to see um, to get a full status update on your current release for your project. If you're a part of more than one project, we enable you to be able to filter between the product and the current, past, and future releases for it, um, <clears throat> track up-to-date status of the projects um, and their version components that make up the projects such as epics, user stories, and bugs. And of course, we wanna make sure that you can um, use this list um, that you're seeing 
uh, and project planning or be able to share it with stakeholders very easily. So we make sure that you're able to export it as either a PDF or an Excel. All right, so here's a screenshot of the UI. So here is the dashboard. So you can see that uh, when you log in to Pega Agile Studio, um, if you once you navigate to the rapid release dashboard through the menu, you can see it here, okay, under, and you can see epics, use stores and bugs, and up in the top right hand corner, you can see the product and the release that you're on for it. And here, when you click on the buttons, you get a complete list of the user stories. And if you need more information, you can click the hyperlink for it and make any edits uh, to that work item. Um, from here in a new tab, instead of having to navigate through uh, multiple teams or products, uh, products in the backlog. All right. So <clears throat> the way the Raptor release dashboard works um, is that it's a simple add-on to Pega Agile Studio. So as you are adding in new epics, use stories and bugs uh, to your product um, and release, is automatically uh, getting updated on the dashboard in real time. Um, so the users will always have an up-to-date visual um, progress board of where they are with the current release. All right. So here's a screenshot of how Pega Agile Studio works, um, where you simply fill out a new user story. And once you associate it with the release and the product, it will automatically populate here on the dashboard. All right. So how does uh, uh, this rapid release dashboard add value to your business and how does it benefit you? All right, so we think there are three main, we think these are the three biggest reasons. One, it helps track product readiness, which ensures its quality. Quality. Um, so you're always gonna be able to make an informed decision and know where you are um, at a given time during the project release, all right? Um, it's going to let you determine and make decision whether or not there's an early release that's applicable. Um, so maybe you're ahead of schedule and you're able to push that release sooner to production and get it ready to, and get it to the market sooner. That's going to help you save time and money. And of course, we enable monitoring and reporting capabilities to management so you can see what's being completed mid sprint. So there's no more having to <clears throat> go around and, and ask uh, your delivery team what has been done. You have a one single source of truth that will give you a vi that clearly displays the visual updates to you. All right. So now, real quick, we're going to go through a live demo, a recorded demo of the um, rapid release dashboard and how it works. Once the user logs in, you can quickly see the status of their current release by navigating to the menu on the left hand side and clicking rapid release dashboard. The user can immediately see what epics, user stories, and bugs are incomplete and complete for the current release. The user can toggle between past, current, and future releases for their product in the upper right hand corner of the screen, as well as switch between products if they are on more than one delivery team. The user can click on any of the buttons that displays account to view a full list of the items that are complete or incomplete. The user is able to see the necessary information to track the items and see the status of them for the current release. If the user requires to see additional information for the work item, they can click the hyperlink and open the work item in a new tab. This allows the users to quickly review it or make any necessary updates to it. The user can generate a PDF or an Excel file of the current list being viewed, which can be exported to be shared with the stakeholders for status updates or use for project planning among the delivery teams. All right, um, so, at, so, for, so that's the end of the recording demo. But as you can see, it's a very easy to use dashboard that's a simple add-on to Pega Agile Studio that gives the user a high-level overview of where they are with their current release. All right. So our current, our future roadmaps with the future uh, versions of the rapid release dashboard is to continue with integrate it with third-party apps like um, GitHub, Jira, um, Azure DevOps. Not because these third-party apps don't already offer, you know, where you can develop these dashboards, but so that we can um, <clears throat> at leverage Pegas out-of-box capabilities for tracking, as well as how it will 
play with the new deployment case type for your DevOps process. And of course, we want to continue to improve our reporting capabilities um, for the rapid release dashboard to make, continuously make it easier for the user. All right. So now I'm going to kind of get into what is the deployment request case type. So before I get into it, I just want you to think real quick of um, what is the current effort that you get on your project and what do you guys have to do to collect the artifacts from your developers that are need to make the package um, to deploy, to migrate the code from dev to QA to stage and then to, produ to production. All right, you probably, you might have an entire deployment team that's coordinating with teams uh, either through a request form or through email, and then they have to manually package it all. All right. All right, so our use case for this is that, um, imagine you have a project, um, you're developing an application, um, and maybe the application is giving out large sums of money, maybe it's a grant application, or you have an application um, or your <clears throat> one of your business requirement is con and you are <clears throat> and your client is under um, auditing and part of that auditing is the you need to be able to require what changes are going up with each deployment All right so the deployment case type allows you to select the user stories and bugs that are being completed in our array for deployment and then route that to the developers who need to provide the artifacts to package all right, so what this offers is a simple UI um, for to collect the user stories and bugs um, that need to be deployed and then routed to the developers to provide the artifacts and then having the system package it for you. Um, in addition, providing a custom, customizable approval process um, in case you need stakeholders to approve the deployment for, let's say, it's like an emergency deployment to production, and you need to have that approval done beforehand. All right. So as described, so there are four stages to this lifecycle for deployment requests. Collecting the artifacts, merging the branches, and once we have the client approval if needed, and then integrating um, <clears throat> with deployment managers. So selecting your pipelines and triggering it from here, but also being able to track the progress of it. All right. So from here, um, you can see this is where the user can select their branches. Uh, this is where the developers uh, would select the branches that would need to be merged, and then any non-version rules that might not be captured in the branches um, that would need to be packaged. All right. And then it would be routed to either a deployment team or configuration management team to select the pipelines that would need to be triggered. All right, and then from on the right-hand screen here, any user would be able to see the current progress of it. So maybe you're a stakeholder and you want to see where this current deployment is. So uh, you can see that it's been packaged in dev and it's currently in the progress of being deployed to QA. All right. So. What do we think this brings to your business? Um, well, it makes collecting artifacts a lot easier um, that needs to be packaged. So you don't have to go around wondering, oh, well, we have our QA environment now, um, let's deploy, but what do we need to deploy, all right? This uh, takes care of that for you. Um, we leverage Pegas out-of-the-box auditing system. So now you can track who deploy and what was part of that deployment and we allows for a customizable approval process. So now you don't have to go around getting emails um, to get approval from the stakeholders. There's a one place uh, place where you can track all that for auditing and for reporting later on. All right, so real quick, we're just gonna go through a quick video recording of how the deployment case type works currently. Once the user logs in, they can go to the left navigation menu and quickly create a new deployment request case type. Once the case is created, they can see the list of completed user stories and list of completed bugs for this deployment. They can quickly see the overview of the user stories or bugs, or if they click the hyperlink, they can see the additional detail about that user stories and bugs. Once they review that, uh, they can quickly select the branches they want to merge 
and they have the ability to unselect the branches they don't want to for this deployment. Once they hit submit, it goes to the next screen where a users can collect non-version rules that are not part of the branches for this deployment. Once they click those non-version rules, they can hit submit and they can click the bulk rule associated with the deployment and then hit submit. It takes to the next stage of getting an approval um, before merging the branches. They can quickly see the summary screen and once it's approved, it goes to the deploy manager stays where they can select the pipeline and select start deployment. Once they select start deployment, they can view the progress of deployment in various environment and also uh, view the summary uh, about what are the changes for this application in this deployment. Once the, the deployment progress has been completed, they can hit submit and the case is resolved. All right. All right. So that is the end of our presentation going about the rapid release dashboard and deployment request case type. So in summary, um, keep in mind the rapid release dashboard is a simple add-on to Pega Agile Studio that um, gives the user a single source of truth to get the live status of the current release for their product. All right. And that the deployment case type, what is end goal is to is to help the user improve their DevOps process and add a and make it more transparency. So you can see what is going up in your deployment and who is requesting it and who is approving it. All right. So thank you for joining us. If you have questions in the QA, I will get around, I will start answering those in the chat as we move on to our next presentation. If you need to get in contact with us, please go to the contact page in the live summit area and look up Sky Solution and enter your information there and we'll get in contact with you. So thank you for joining us.